All right, back at it. Let's go ahead and load. Now, last time, we met my dad, and then he also died, so that was fun. So I'm a little upset about that. We also got our trophy case going. I did a little off-screen reorganizing, but it's not terribly different. It's all, it's a pain in the butt because the physics in this game is so weird. Like, I had this P90 kind of, uh, an angle, but it's, it stood itself up. So, I've, uh, given up giving a shit. You know, it's sort of what I do, sometimes. Oh, yeah, before we get to anything else, let's go ahead and go down here for no particular reason at all. And behold, not you, you! Doc Church is now black! For Christ's sake, you don't look sick, and you sure as hell don't look dead, so why are you bothering me? Because I just wanted to see how glorious your pigmented skin was, sir. Just wanted to show everyone how amazing Try it looks. Try not to hurt yourself. Yep. <laughs> Try not to hurt yourself. So, I got that fixed. Also, I have Tesla armor on. The way I fixed it is I used the Archive Invalidator uh, mod. Also, my <laughs> machine wants to make my windows transparent for no apparent reason. Transparent for no apparent reason. All right, before we get going, I need to eat and drink. Let's see. Where are you, Nicole? There we go. Eat a few of those. What do I have to eat? Some Merkler cakes. We'll have one of those. And some Iguana bits. Attend now to the words of the prophet of Adam. Come forth. And I have a feeling I know what we're going to do today. We're going to go and do that mission that we got from the little kid that we saw so long ago. Apparently is... Dad was in trouble. Let's see. Those! Find Brian Wilkes' father. Where the hell is that? Oh, not too far. I'll just walk from Megaton. How am I doing with my primary needs now? Am I good? Still a bit hungry. Alright, let's have some more iguana bits. Some more cakes. Some mole rat jerky. That should be more than enough. And we'll have another cola. Because colas are awesome. Eh, let's see. Lack of water is affecting me still. I've eaten too much. <laughs> Apparently we're getting a little lag on some people's connections. It's funny that I can upload faster than you guys can download, but I'd change it if I could. I've actually thought about like starting up two channels and streaming at once. But I'm not sure how the capture software would handle that. I'm still thirsty, huh? Oh, let's give it a second. Let's just get walking. I got plenty of food. Got my power fist. We're good. Let's see, I've eaten too much. I'm a bit thirsty still. Stop being thirsty, Skull Punch! <laughs> One for 30 FPS and another for 60. Sounds about right. Okay, where's the marker on here? Didn't I have that quest selected? What the hell's going on? Oh, well that'll do it. You are not going the right direction, goddammit. Well, let's climb up this mountain. It's a nice clear day outside today. No rain for once. Let's see, I'm not dropping any frames, so if you're getting lag on your end, folks, I can't do anything about it. I, mean, I suppose I could give you money so you could get a better connection, but I just don't have the logistics for that. Okay, let's slow it down. I may need AP. <laughs> Okay, so this is where we need to be. I think this is Great Itch. Holy fuck! It's funny when a Protectron's actually a threat. Although it should be less of one now. Let's go ahead and save the game. And charge! Do some of that quick shit. That's right, bitch! Boom, sucker! Almost take him down with one hit. It's a shame I didn't. But not a problem. And he flies off into the stratosphere. 
And that's not even on the highest ragdoll setting. If it was on the highest setting, we would have flown into the next fucking galaxy. But anyway, we got him. So I still don't know how strong this armor is just yet. We have like a total of 44 DT in DT with it, which is pretty substantial. We had something like 38 before, 37. So I wonder what that kid was whining about. He didn't exactly give us a description. I think he said something about them breathing fire? Huh. This was a long time ago, so if you don't remember, folks, I understand. Looks clear over here, though. No trouble. wonder what this place is. I don't think this is the place. Very interesting building that doesn't have a fucking door on it, though. It's probably on the other side of this, isn't it? Bring up the map. That's right on the other side. It's gonna make me go the long way, isn't it? Yep, I can't mountain goat over this shit. If this was no Vegas, it'd be no problem. What do we got? Sounds like a, I could probably turn up the music also. I can barely hear it. Let me do that real quick. Let's see, music. Just a little more. 40 should be good. Get rid of you. I said get rid of you. Okay. Come on. Continue. Fantastic. What? What the hell is that thing? I don't know what it is, but it's coming straight towards us. Also, I think that's where the kid is right now. It's progressing. Eventually, it'll get me. What are you doing? What are you doing, you little shit? Oh, God damn it! Fuck you! It's a fire ant worker! And now it's fire ant squashed. Anyone else? I heard you skittering towards me, you little shit. Probably should get that... Charge power. Oh. Can I get him? I can get him. Oh come on, scroll punch. That's right, kick him right in the <laughs> right in the mandibles. Oh. Stop that shit. Oh god. I'm still on fire. Stop being on fire. Oh Jesus, that hurts a lot. I think I can get actually get fire resistance if I eat their meat. Yeah, fire resistance. Okay, we'll eat some of that. What else does it do to me? I saw some minuses on there, so... Let's see. Minus three intelligence. Agility plus four. Huh. For some reason, this ant meat, ant meat makes me extremely stupid. That one also does not have meat. Yeah, somebody's in this. Hey, kid. Actually... Yep, I see him. <laughs> They're skittering towards us. Come on, tell me already. I just got back here. What happened to your kid? It used to be kind of nice. No one bothered us there. I guess because we were so close to DC. There were seven of us living there in tall, old brick houses. I think I'm the last one left. Those things took everyone else. Hmm. So who else? <laughs> I was right. It is Great Itch? Who else lived in Great Itch? Great Itch, son. Um. Besides me and my papa, there was. Doc Lesko, who stayed with us, and Will Brandis, and his mama and papa, too. I guess they're all gone now. Hmm. Well, did you know the others in town very well? Nah. People don't like to stay long in Great Itch. I can imagine DC why. DC ruins aren't a great place to make a home, you know. In fact, papa was talking about moving on soon. We've been here for maybe a year. Hmm. Well, let me ask you something else. Alright. What is it? Let's see. Where's your house, son? Look for the house nearest to the billboard. That's sticking out of the ground. It's pretty close to the diner. You can't miss it. Okay. I'll try, son. You stay in there. It's safe. Also, I need to do something. I need to get some stim packs. I don't have a whole lot of these things. Stay away from me, you piece of shit. Maybe if, you know, I should use cover tactics a little more, although this thing's probably going to try to kill me. Or I could just run away from them. Also, it sounds like they're on every side of me. Yep, there's another one. They aren't exactly fast. I could just run away like this, I suppose. 
But you guys are more trouble than you're worth. Okay. That must be his house over there, the one with the billboard. Fuck you, ants! I don't have time for your shit. Also, the pro to reply to TD Cool Guy, sometimes I do kick. I stop if I can't. could, but I can't. Plus, it's fun to kick ants. I bet you those ants are going to come in here and try to kill me. If they don't, I will be impressed. Let's see. What we got in the ammo box? Ammo, surprisingly enough. And over here we have a 32 caliber pistol and some ammos. What's this? Camera. That on it. Metal box with some bobby pins. Sure. I want some fancy stuff for my shelves, but there's another gnome. We already got one of those. Only gnome I'm going to pick up is one that's in pristine quality. Let's see, some 30 out 6. What else we got? Some food, I hope. Oh, yeah. We never have enough food out here in the waste. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, we got this armor just a little while ago, but I can carry so much more weight now. 310. How much is my strength? Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention that uh, my armor also increases my strength. What is affecting my stuff right now? Is it my radiation poisoning? Yes. Let's probably get that fixed. You know what fixes radiation pro problems? Whiskey. Whiskey will fix it. Okay, so this is clearly his father. Hmm. Well, shit. Better get that boy out of town. There's no reason for him to stay here. Hey, there, Ant. I told you I don't want to fuck with your shit. Oh, oh God damn it! I said no. You answer me. Jesus Christ, they're all around me. Okay, if I wait here, I can get the drop on one at least. Unless you can shoot straight up, which you can. Come here, Ant. I hear you skittering. They can't figure out how to get up the stairs. Come here! Come here! That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes, you are. You just want to eat me and bring you home to the queen, right? Now I'm gonna kill you. Bitch. <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Didn't exactly have a skull, considering it's an insect, but that'll work. Exoskeleton punch. Hey there, buddy. Ah, ah god damn it, you little bastard. Come here, you little shit. You coming? There you are. I can't V for some reason. V? V. Why don't you V? V, of course, is the button, <laughs> the uh, key you press to go into vats. There's another head. Sorely punched. I know you're out there. Come here. Ah! Come here. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Nope. Oh. Okay. Come get me. <laughs> Almost slipped. Are you coming or what? Okay, I'm just gonna drop onto your face if I can. Where are you? Where? The Is that him? There's a few more off in the distance. We'll just leave those ones alone. Let's go talk to the boy. Whoa. Was hot in here. Come on, tell me already. Your dad's I have some bad news for you, son. Your dad's dead. Oh no. What happened? Probably eaten by ants. He's He's dead? Yep. I guess I already knew. Besides. I'm too tired to cry anymore. He's probably been sitting in this thing for like weeks while I've been trying to find my dad, so I can understand. Well, I'll stop whatever star of this. I can at least do that much, right? You gotta stop it, so this can't happen to anyone else's family ever again. Sounds like a plan, I wish kid. I had met you a long time ago, and then maybe my dad would still be alive. Thanks for doing all this. I'm feeling better now that you're here. Okay, we'll get it. Let's see. My if I have some. No, 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 no. So let's see. Remove the ants. Can I tell you to get the hell out of here? 
Let's see, mind if I ask you about some of the people that lived here, son? Nah, go ahead. It's just nice to talk to anyone about stuff at all. It's not a fire-breathing ant. Tell me about this Doc Lesko, which I have no idea who the hell that is. He was a strange man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead, but his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. Hmm, that is weird. Where did this Dr. Lesko stay? He spent all of his time in that shack next door to my house. All right. Every time I'd sneak in there, he'd be sitting at that funny looking TV machine with the green words pushing buttons. All right, sounds like a computer. Do you have any idea what he was doing in there? Nah, he was a nice man, but he never wanted to play with me very much, and we barely talked. All I know is he was all gone when the ants started showing up. I think they got him too. Hmm. Let's see. Do you also have any weird stuff in his place? You know, weird stuff? I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. What? That was kind of neat. He had a robot? Alright, well let's talk about some other people in Great Itch. Yeah? Yeah? What about the Bred <laughs> Bredis family? Well, there is Will. He was sorta of my friend. And then there was his dad and his mom. Okay, where they live now? Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having someone to hang out with so close by. Hmm. So you and Will were good friends, huh? Yeah. Will was super nice to me. He was like a year older than me, I think. He even shared his comic books with me. We explored pretty much every bit of Great Itch we could find. I think that's why the ants don't bother me. I have good hiding spots. I probably thought of you as a little brother. That's adorable. Anyway, how about Will's parents? Well. His mom was nice, too. She was kind of quiet, but she always took care of me and my papa when we came over. I think she was sad that my mom was gone. Will's dad was... Well, I don't want to be mean, but he was kind of scary. Hmm, scary? How so? He was, like, always watching me and my dad real careful, like he didn't trust us or something. He always kept staring at us from the windows of his house and typing stuff into his TV box. Will said his dad was like an old soldier or something, but he didn't like doing that stuff, so he quit. Hmm. Well, I think that's about all. So, let's get down to business. I just wish things would go back. Yep. You stay in there. Now, if anyone's Dr. Entropy, dude, it's gotta be that, uh... Oh, I can't remember his name from, uh, Old World Blues. That guy is definitely Entropy. Except he's not a jack-in-the-box, of course. Check out this Brandy's family. Ants. Are there ants in here? No, it looks ant-free. Anything in the cabinet? Another bottle of whiskey, I'll take me that. See, and I'm doing just fine there, Anzi. Thanks for asking. Let's see. No. Just some very cheerful music in here. Let's get that shit turned off. Stop it. No. We already got music. Let's see. Let's see if I can... Nope. I can't even hack an easy computer. Bad. Unless... Let's see. How are my stats right now? Science! Oh, I could if I had... if I wasn't so stupid at the moment. Damn you, Whiskey! This is clearly your fault. Uh, let's see, don't I have some brain tonic in here? Brain tonic? Grandpa's brain tonic! Here we go. Can I do it now? I can do it now! Just need some of Grandpa's brain tonic! Is there anything that alcohol can't fix? Oh, damn it. I fucked it up. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Let's go with buried. Close to buried. Hmm. Nope. Wasted. Nope. Carved. Possibly, actually. Very close to carved. Could be earned, right? That's right. It is earned. I've earned 
Uh, access to this computer. Okay, we have some dates in here. Let's start with the earliest one. I finally found a quiet place for my family. We've been running from one settlement to the next, just trying to keep out of sight. Now I'm on the other coast, and I feel much, much safer. <laughs> the family across the way from us seems pretty decent. Their kid Brian likes to play with my son, which is great. My son needs some coming. It's hard for Will to make friends because we haven't stayed in one place for very long, and there's not so many kids around anyway. We can finally put down some roots here in Great Itch. I was scavenging through the nearby buildings for junk to sale and came across a working radio. No sooner did I turn it on did I hear the familiar patriotic anthems they used to play whenever Richardson would uh, give a speech. But this was different. Who the hell is President Eden? When did this happen? Are they on this coast now? Most importantly, will they be looking for me? Huh. Why would the Enclave be looking for him? I hope this journey wasn't a huge mistake. Some scientist named Lesko moved in with the, in with the Wilkes family across the street. They're uh, helping him make some sort of structure on the old lot near the diner. Lesko offered to pay me some caps if I helped, but I declined. I don't know if he's working, uh, who he's working for, but I don't think they're. Uh, I don't think they're still looking for me. Other supplies are run low, or our supplies are run low, and I need to uh, begin foraging for food and some other drinking water. I'd have an easier time with it if it weren't for these damn ants. I swear, they have a nest around here somewhere. These ants are becoming a real pain in the ass. So much so that I had to take a trip to Megaton and buy a better gun to protect my family. It cost me a small fortune. I had to trade every bit of ant meat I had collected. But it was worth it. I'm teaching Frank and Stella, or Sheila, I should say, how to use it just in case something happens to me. When you are reading this, I'm gone. Keep the gun in the kitchen behind the old fridge. Okay. I'm going to find a better way to protect Sheila and Will from those ants. Ever since Lasko came to town, I'm certain they're getting more and more aggressive. Wasteland ants are bad enough, but at least they you can run away from them. Not like that's a big problem for me. These seem to proceed to the ends of the earth, if they could. So you can still outrun them. You just have to keep outrun them. Okay. Call me crazy, but I swear I saw one start a fire the other day. An ant start a fire? That shit doesn't happen. Now I don't know how, <laughs> how this could be happening. I've decided to dig up the, my old sidearm and keep it hidden on me at all times. Those things get too close. Blast antenna right off the <laughs> their ugly heads. And that's what he did. At least a few times. I can't believe I went through all the trouble to leave Navarro. Make my way across the country just to get stuck in this shithole. I'll be damned if I'm gonna die here. Now that we're cut off from Lesko and the Wilkes. I think we're on, we're, we're on our own. The ants are trying to find a way to get inside the house. Although apparently they're on here now and he didn't kill any of them. Even as I'm typing this, I can hear them scraping on the walls, looking for a way through. And I don't know how much longer we can last. And there we go, we can actually get down to the business now, folks. I hope you enjoyed. Now let's head to the fridge so we can find a fancy gun. Let's see, where'd you hide it? It's in that. And he's got himself a little 32 caliber pistol. That ain't enough for ants! Wait, crazy? I mean, if this was his primary weapon... What the hell was his sidearm? Like, literally, his arm. Whoa, I hear you, little shit. Okay, let's do this. Again. Oh, I can't really get the jump on you on this side. But maybe. Where are you, little shit? Got the switch on you, motherfucker! Boom! Right in your ant thorax, although I missed. Oh, yeah! You like that, don't you, bitch? I hear another one skittering. There you are, you little shit. Come here. Come here. Come here. What would you name a pet ant? Would you name him Sugar? Because, I mean, they like sugar, right? Or, actually, I'd name these ones Cinnamon. <laughs> That's a cute name for an ant, right? Come here, Cinnamon. 
No, bad salmon. Come here. Come here. <laughs> He's not sure about this. Simmons a smart one. <laughs> He's backing away so he's like, oh no. Ah, oh, go for him. <laughs> you silly bastard, Cinnamon. Come get me. That's right. I'm coming for you, Simmon. Come on. There we go. Bad Simmon. <laughs> now get him again. Boom. Punch you in the next week. Oh, uh, that's awesome. More ant meat? I'm sorry, Simon. You're just not nice enough to be a pet. Also, ant nectar. Which... Actually, that's what I need. The ant meat doesn't do jack shit. It's only the nectar. Let's see. Drop the ant meat. Well, I guess it's still good to eat. Eh, you know what? I'll keep it. Okay, so let's head over to the shack. Let's see what Lesko is up to. I got a key for this, so it's no big deal to get in. Hmm. Well, I see a place for a Protectron in here. Hazard recording. Well, that's nice. Just laying on the table, huh? Well, this could be the fifth time I've forgotten the code to my desktop terminal. I really must learn to be more organized. The password for my terminal is for Messida. How hard could that be for me to remember? Note to self. Destroy this holotape as soon as move to new lab is complete. Let's see. Just reading some of the chat. Spicy would be a good name. <laughs> no, that's a spicy little. <laughs> spicy little ant. Yes, you are. Let's see. Let's go on your computer. Password is for Missadai. Let's see. Private. Please do not access without permission. Activate robot. I don't think the robot's here. Science. Robot. No. Robot is out of range. Personal notes. Let's see, where did I go wrong? Although I think I think they go in order from uh, bottom to top, so we'll go to the dangers first. I realize the dangers involved in tampering with nature. I've heard the rhetoric and the hoopla about playing God. However, I am determined to reduce these poor things back to their original state when they were harmless. Only through genetic recoding is that possible. All that is needed is a proper test subject. My search continues as I tweak the formula. And let's see, sample location discovered. I have found the perfect specimen for my experiments inside Marigold Station. I've set up shop underground for now while I prepare the experiment. All I need is a bit of last minute programming for my robot and I will be ready to perform the most delicate of injections. So, I, soon I will prove to everyone that my formula is a viable alternative to the destruction of these misunderstood beings. And let's see, where did I go wrong? Batch A27 is a complete failure! I must return to the original formulas and begin the process all over again. Perhaps the pressure of working in these conditions without proper laboratory equipment is to blame. Well, maybe. I simply didn't splice the correct genetic instructions, or perhaps I am fatigued. Whatever the case may be, A27 is pro proving to be a disaster. I must introduce a new formula, or it may not be able alive to see my hypothesis come to fruition. Well, that was enlightening, folks. So apparently Marigold Station is the place we need to head to, because that's where the specimens are gonna say nothing else in this room that I can find. Do we have a new map marker? Investigate Marigold Station. Okay. For some reason it's just not looking at the door. Well, this could be the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, I hear you. There you are, you little shit. Come here, Simon, too. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Silly ants. Time for you, Simon, too. <laughs> rawr, rawr, rawr. Boom! That's a good one. Already crippled his head. And while he's shaking it off, bam! My only regret is his head didn't explode, and he did try to breathe fire on me. 
Didn't exactly work, though. Why do I not have a map marker for this? This is ridiculous. You gonna make me do things? Let's see. I think I know where it is. It's not that way, I don't think. No, we're not waiting, damn it. Although I... You know what? I should sleep. We can do that. Instead of wasting a goddamn stem pack. I'm gonna need those, I'm guessing. You know, this place is on fire and everything, but it's not really a big deal. Right? Right. We'll sleep on the big bed. And we'll sleep for 18 hours? Sure, why not? Flawless victory, indeed. I'll call the next day and I kill Spicy. <laughs> uh, they would make great pet pets if they didn't bite or, you know, breathe fire. That sort of brings down their value as a pet. Just a little bit. And my whiskey is worn off. And I'm hungry. So I guess I'll eat some ant meat. Let's see, meat, ant meat. Delicious, delicious ant meat. And we'll have some whiskey. I don't think whiskey quenches my thirst, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. <clears throat> yes, yes, 